Immersion suits are essential for each crew member or passenger aboard vessels that operate in cold or remote regions. These are the only devices that should be regarded as effective abandoned ship garments in cold water. They should probably be called abandoned ship suits because they're much too cumbersome to work in. Immersion suits are designed to fit over normal clothing. Each suit should be marked with the name of the vessel. Be sure you practice donning your suit before the vessel goes to sea. You should be capable of donning the device in 60 seconds or less. The suit must fit properly and form a tight seal around the face. It must be free of holes or other defects and have a free sliding zipper. It should have an inflatable pillow. The pillow keeps your head and neck out of the water for better thermal protection and helps eliminate the fatigue of holding your head up. Inflate it every time you inspect the suit to be sure it's still airtight. Each suit should feature a signal light, preferably a strobe, and a whistle. It should have reflective patches on the head and shoulder areas. If someone is searching for you in the dark, the reflective material will be all that's visible if you don't have flares or a signal light. Preferably, your suit will include a lifting ring and buddy cord. At the very least, practice donning your suit on deck. If you can do so safely, test it in the water to make sure it keeps you dry. Immersion suits should be stowed so that crew members aboard a rapidly sinking boat can get them out of stowage and on their persons as fast as possible. Immersion suits should be donned only on open decks. The enormous buoyancy and bulkiness of an immersion suit means that you may be trapped if you put it on inside a vessel that sinks suddenly. Immersion suits should be stowed in the bag provided by the manufacturer. To eject the suit, simply hold the bag upside down and thrust it sharply downward. Wear as much clothing as you can under the suit, including a watch cap and shoes or boots. Practice in advance to be certain the garments you intend to wear will fit. Slipping a plastic bag over your feet helps eliminate friction. On a rolling deck, sit down and put the suit on like a child's pajamas. First, get your feet into the legs. Next, put your weak arm into one sleeve. Use your strong arm to pull the hood over your head. Put your strong arm into its sleeve after the rest of the suit is on. Arch your back to remove wrinkles in the fabric as you zip the zipper. Be sure that your zipper has a lanyard long enough to enable you to grasp it easily with the gloves on. Close the face flap before you enter the water. Unless you have a suit with detachable gloves or a zippered hand opening, you'll have virtually no use of your hands with the suit on. If you need to use your hands, stage the suit by tying the arms around your waist like a ski sweater. Enter the water from the lowest possible point. Be alert to hazards below you. Use your inboard arm to protect your head from striking the vessel. Cover your face with your other hand to keep water out of the suit and to minimize the cold shock. Cross your legs as you hit the water in case there is floating debris. If you land hard, air trapped in the feet and legs of the suit may flip you upside down. Keep calm and the suit will quickly right itself. Float on your back and inflate the pillow. Do the backstroke to maneuver towards safety or away from danger. Relax, the buoyancy of the suit will keep you afloat with no effort whatsoever. Immersion suits should be inspected frequently. Look for leaks or rips in the fabric, inspect the stitching and gluing on each seam, and test the inflation pillow and mouth tube. The zipper should be lubricated with paraffin after each inspection. If your suit has been exposed to salt water, rinse it thoroughly with fresh water. Be sure it's completely dry before you stow it in the bag.